Welcome civil engineers, learn faster with civil engineering tips. Today we are going to learn about the layers command in AutoCAD. And here you can see the layers and here is the properties. Okay, you can customize it going to tools, palette and properties. Properties gone. Okay, again tools, palette and properties. Here you can see the properties. Okay. Similarly with the layers, tools, but here toolbars, AutoCAD, and here you can see here the check mark. So when I uncheck it, the layer starts gone. Yeah. And then again tools, toolbar, AutoCAD, and yeah, here are the various options you can on and off for your requirement. Now I'll turn it on here layer. You can see here the layer properties. Yeah, you can activate is layer properties by clicking here or you can simply click your layer properties manager okay shortcut shortcut way when you active this here uh, similarly okay i will open it here uh, see the icon here on okay here you can see on freeze unlock and color yeah on freeze lock unlock and color okay uh, here also you can see here on freeze lock and color and layer name yeah you can change from your open this settings yeah similarly here are the uh, layers off and layer on turning on all the layers isolate object isolate layer similarly freeze and on freeze lock unlock and make current layer okay so starting with uh, making new layer here i have made different layers uh, you can take it here uh, you can see here new layer yeah new pp layer pp frozen in all viewports okay about viewports we will learn about that in layout option that is making in printing option we can learn about that viewport daily okay you can delete here as well delete layer as well here yeah? okay and set current layer as well so look here just uh, delete these layers okay i will delete these layers okay it's not okay leave as it is we'll learn uh here you can see three different colors okay you can change color here and you can tie sheets just select line type as well yeah you can there are only three different line types are showing but you can see your load yeah you can add here dotted line dash line yeah okay there are various options you can choose okay now it's cancel it okay now yeah and line width line width line width means thickness okay thickness of the line and transparency we increase transparency then it creates the transparency of these particular layers yeah similarly it's all out of pp you can see uh i will increase here you can see properly transparency yeah you can check it out all these options here uh, going to model and then i will create rectangle rectangle and then i will create triangle using line command polygon five sides yeah. and now i will select this go here and select the rectangular you can see the zigzag lines of rectangular that we choose in the layer option here layer properties here zigzag rectangular zigzag okay you can change that and here you can see the line weight is 1.58 mm to see the line weight you can select here show slash hide line weight this icon yeah when you zoom in you can see line weight 
you can turn it off as well and these icons can be turned on or turned off using here customization okay manual customization you can on and off this here you can see the check mark here line width i will uncheck it and here look here okay that icon will reappear when i check mark okay you can customize what you need here for this button okay moving into the same layer command now selecting this and okay now set triangle okay and then this selecting line and putting it in the layer polygon okay go here you can see here or you can simply right click and delete layer or rename layer create new layer or set current layer simply you can use this command as well okay simply i will make a new layer p practice okay this and here is you can change color as blue here yeah. you can change line as well tracks here is the default setting default leave it as it is or you can increase the line weight okay and to five okay and transparency yeah okay let's have 45 okay practice layers we create this now here now we can draw i think okay let's show right here okay, select this you can choose this okay the command properties we change in layer automatically change when we select this okay here is another rectangular and similarly here you can see the tracks and then go to properties match properties select select source object and selecting the destination object this is how you change as well okay matching properties we all done and see transparency here lines line width setting okay and colors as well all of these you can see in the properties okay or you can simply select it right click and go to properties this properties okay simply move your mouse cursor to the right here which we just customize using tools palette and properties okay or turning on and off the properties now layer property you can see here now learning about this on and off okay here, look i will select this and here uh triangle okay i will turn layer off okay turn layer off look here Tri triangle is gone now i will turn it on again turn it on you can turn it off and you can use freeze as well okay then look when you put your mouse cursor here freeze or thaw in all viewports okay this works in viewport okay we'll learn about this and if you lock the layer then you'll be unable to edit this okay Okay, I select this object and then it is command not applied to these locked layers. Okay, I'll unlock it. Yeah, this is it for layers. Close it. You can use it from here, or you can use it from here, or you can simply. Um, turn the layer on and off yeah and now moving into these icons here bottom this, this is customization icon and this is clean screen off okay look it will automatically off the ribbon bar and here is uh, command command tabs yeah this increase the working space in AutoCAD you can turn it on as well and here look autodex trusted dwg when you go to your layout option here layout option here and print print your paper yeah and then here will 
we can see the printing option about this printing and layout say we will learn detailly okay and here is hardware acceleration yeah and isolated object this one is the most important if we are working in a large number of drawings in a single sheet okay here you can see isolate object and hide object okay we will learn about actually uh, select this polygon or you can simply right click and here you can see isolate object okay isolate object in the isolate object okay uh, or simply you can use it from here yeah isol isolate object this means all of our drawings here you can okay, turn it on uh, to turn it turn the isolate object off in the object isolation here you can see triangle and rectangle reappears okay if we copy it here okay, first let this right click isolate and isolate object okay with this here yeah here is our rectangle no no rectangle and triangles were here yeah we just turn the uh, isolate objects now ending these isolate objects look this triangle and rectangle image in same position so while using isolate don't make mistakes by copying it to different places where it overlaps yeah so if there are a large number of drawings then only you can use this command isolate and in isolate object isolate object and hide object okay similarly here drafting setting you can change it here or customize it yourself and working setting can be changed or okay similarly here is scaling is scaling we can change it here in the layout option printing option okay and this is the line weight and yeah snap option look here in point midpoint and center okay here you can see the check mark i will draw the line and here okay um, i will change the layer option here layer properties then change the line type as solid line and right click set current yeah now draw line now you can see i will select line okay line command and here you can see the green rectangle that is snapping the end point okay similarly snapping in point and here the midpoint point in point in point yeah if you on off uh, uncheck this in point midpoint center then it will not snap when we put our mouse cursor here look it is not snapping so it is better to check mark this in point midpoint center and others as well yeah so this command as for the requirement yeah and the other thing here is yeah this polar and and perpendicular orthogonal okay look here you can see restrict cursor to specified angles restrict cursor orthogonally orthogonally means perpendicularly now uh, here you can change it here now select this blue color yeah we are using orthogonal orthogonal that means the line will snap perpendicularly only look I'm rotating my mouse but it is only drawing line perpendicularly yeah you can see here only perpendicular only perpendicular lines are are drawn now running this polar option here uh, going to line command now you can draw line anywhere activating the orthogonal command okay delete this okay how about this 
can hear the other option is you can turn on or turn off the grid here you can see a small small grid yeah you can turn it on or turn it off which one do you like here you make it um okay now you can see here file edit view insert format tools okay Yo, you can find all these icons and properties properties from here as well okay if you close the ribbon or and then or we'll turn it on uh, if you work in this whole working space then you can insert raster image block yeah format tools and all these uh, draw commands here line 3d polyline polygon rectangle arc yeah arc options here circular options here okay ellipse block all these you can find it here and okay now one thing here you can insert image as well and you can scale it as per your requirement okay now raster image select new ob image from the desktop opening you can customize it as for your requirement you select insertion point and the scale factor you can click here the scale factor as well and but manually you can set it out uh, while making site plan in municipal drawing we'll learn about this in detail Okay. this is it like share and subscribe to civil engineering tips for learning faster